Assalamualaikum warahmatullah and good morning. In this video, we will go through the process of creating pages for our website or for our digital CV. All right. Um, well, um, when we talk about pages, we need to first uh, distinguish it from, from posts, although they are quite similar in nature, but there are some, some subtle differences between the two and how the way they are used at their purpose okay let's just look at the sample um, cv website uh, okay so if you see in this cv we have a link this is a link to a page of biodata page and on the right side we have uh, links to categories of posts okay so um if this is the, the sample of a biodata page okay so one of the differences between pages and posts is that um but uh, pages are relatively uh, static okay contents um, in pages rarely change and usually there there is only one um one page to talk about one particular thing uh, whereas in post you have multiple articles that talk about the similar issues for example here we have um a menu for let's say um kepimpinan or leadership okay so um the author of this website is talking about the various leadership activities that he has taken part of uh, which includes being the um, uh, prefect in 1976 and then again in 1977 and also a list of other uh, leadership areas that he has been involved with so you can have you can add uh, multiple or you can update more information regarding a certain category and this is more suitable with post but with um with pages they are more static so when you talk about your biodata you have one page on biodata and you don't have multiple pages of biodata similarly if you have a pay, uh, an article regarding your contact that would be more suited towards um that would be more suited towards a page because you don't have multiple pages regarding context and you don't um, have um, time-based information that you need to show in your contact page all right so the other differences between pages and posts is that uh, posts are uh, time related so you have new posts that sometimes will make older posts uh, outdated or the, the newer posts will be more relevant and usually um, they will be displayed um, first and then the older posts will be displayed um, more towards the bottom but uh, for pages usually pages are timeless uh, they uh, the the page and the pages would be relevant um, at any time although sometimes it will require some uh, editing to make it more uh, up to date okay so those are the main two um, differences and the other differences is that uh, pages don't have uh, categories whereas um, post you have categories so here we have uh, a seven categories of posts Anugrah, Pengetirifan, Kepimpinan, on all these are categories and you would assign posts to categories so that you can um, organize the structure easily. Okay, but usually in, in pages, by default, in WordPress, you don't have uh, categories for pages. Okay, so understanding the differences, now we would uh, continue with uh, creating our first page. Okay, um... To create a page, um, we go to pages and click uh, add new. Okay, so for our digital CV, one of the most basic um, page would be 
um, biodata page okay let's create that page and this is where we will insert the title of our page let's say this is um, biodata and then uh, give a little bit of um, description about ourselves here let's say we have a paragraph there and then we would like to insert a picture a photo of us uh, before our paragraph so to insert a, to insert a picture or an image inside our page uh, there's an add media button click that and then uh, we might have a media library inside of WordPress but currently we have not um, uploaded anything yet so we need to upload the image so just click upload files then we can either select files of you or if we have our file browser open we can just drag drag into the page okay so now um, a photo of me has been uploaded into the wordpress site now we just determine whether we want to put the alignment as center and as well as the uh, size i would like just to leave it at medium and click insert into page all right so that's so that's uh, my biodata bio page and uh, before we publish there are several things we can do we can save our draft without publishing it uh, without publishing it and then uh, we can also change the visibility by default if we click publish uh, the visibility of our page will be public that means uh, everyone in the whole world will be able to see our page and there's also the option of uh, having it uh, password protected or private for this first page we will create a public public page okay just click uh, publish and then now we can see um, our page has been published by clicking at the permanent permalink okay so this is our our page Okay, this is our data page. That's uh, the title of our page, and this is the content of our page. Okay, let's say we want to create another page which is uh, a little bit protected so that um, private information is not publicly available. Okay, so let's create a new page and let's name this page, this new page as uh, contact we will insert our contact information here so for example my email address and probably my phone number Okay, um, so let's say because we have our contact information here, therefore we don't want this page to be publicly available unless it is someone that we really want to show this information to. Alright, before we click publish, uh, we can also cl uh, click save draft. Uh, we need to change the visibility from public to something else. Okay, so we have password protected page we can also have a private page okay the difference is that between the two is that with password protected uh, a person who wants to um, open up this page would need to enter a password that we provide that uh, we provide them with okay uh, on the other hand for private pages um, the person that wants to access the page will need to have an account with our website okay so like uh, we have our own account here 
okay um, we have our own login information uh, only people who have a login information can view the private pages but if you don't need any the, the person to have an account with your website uh, only that you want to hide some pages from public view you can use the password protected um, method which is uh, a lot simpler than creating usernames for your users okay so let's say we uh, use the password protected uh, option and we create a password that um, we will disseminate, disseminate to those people who we will show the page um, okay let's say we have um, okay we use the sample sample password um, and click publish okay now if we preview our page uh, if we click here it will open up the page but because that page is password protected now it says this content is password protected to view it please enter your password below let's try a wrong password and click enter okay it doesn't show anything because it's a wrong password now let's try to enter the right password it's sample password yep now with the right password we will be able to see we will be able to view the content of our page so that is how we create um, pages within wordpress